Hello beauties, I hope you're doing amazing. This is what we're doing today and this is not even the half of it. Oh, pfft. yes, as I'm saying, these are all rolling off the table and as I said, this is not even the half of it, but I'm gonna sort of go through the inventory of all the lip stuff that I have and try to figure out what I wanna keep, what I wanna ditch. I also have some tea here because I absolutely need some. This is going to be at least an hour long situation. So if that sounds good to you and your game, let's get started. So I'm going to try to separate the ones that are from the same brand. Like, for example, I have these that are all Ofra that I've collected over the years. I think this is everything that I have from Ofra. So I'm going to go swatch some of these and see if any of them has sort of disintegrated, if any of them smells bad, and I will get rid of them. This one is Nude Potion, which was from the Nikki Tutorials collab. Obviously, it's the rebrand. It's not the round ones, the old, old round ones. So it's not that old. I'm pretty sure you can still buy these. I'm smelling them to make sure they're not bad. I love these and I definitely use them. I have, in fact, used Nude Potion in some of my looks. It's a very nice, soft, nudie. If you've been following my channel, you already know how I feel about these Ofra liquid lipsticks. I know there is some controversy with the brand, which is part of the reason I haven't bought anything from them recently, but I've had these and I like them. It's a pretty good product. It does not dry my lips. It is pretty comfortable. I like the colors, they look really nice. My favorite is Manila, which is this one that I've used a lot in my videos. This one is a little bit, you know, a little bit separated, but it doesn't smell bad. So we're going to give it a pass for now. I think I had a few of these that I got rid of like six months ago that I thought had gone bad. So everything that's left should be good. And this is my favorite, Manila. This looks amazing with most very extreme eye looks, which is something I do pretty frequently. And the reason I'm watching them is to just kind of double check and make sure they're still swatching normal. It's not like they haven't fully dried or anything. Yeah, I did have another brown. I vaguely remember having another brown that I think I... um decluttered sometime because it had gone it's like it tasted kind of rancid but everything that's left is good so these are all staying the nice thing about these Ofra ones is that because they're not round it's easy to stack them and keep them like this i'm going to try to clean up the table first so as we know i love chopsticks because i have Perpetual chopped lips. Oh, look at look what's here. We have another one. This is Milan Yeah, this one also doesn't look bad doesn't smell bad Okay, all of them are going to the side for now now that we're doing Ofra Let's also do this Ofra lip gloss that I haven't really used This next year is a year. I want to do more gloss because I have a lot of them and I really need to use them. Yeah, this one also smells pretty good. Does not smell or look rancid or anything. So it's going to the side. Okay, let's now do these lippies. The new lippies from ColourPop. These I bought recently. Actually, let me clean my hand before I do this. Because I could get lipstick and lip gloss over things. I bought three trios, so there is nine of these, two were blotted, one was matte, one, well, so the matte one were, were these, I think, yeah. So these are the ultra mattes, and then the blotted were the pink ones, and then the more reddish ones. 
and they're new purchases so they're not going anywhere i'm gonna keep them i have tulum doozy zuma starling kitten still an icon rose latte so me and double date i'm getting the chopsticks out these i use in the day i have a lot more than these this is just the ones that are on my desk that i literally cleaned um and these i use frankly in the morning during the shooting etc for chopping my lips this is another one from lancome i got it in some container that came from, you know one of the purchases gift with purchases from Lancome let me see are there any other ones around here I don't see any one ones these are staying because they're not even old I go through them really fast I go through a lot of chopsticks this is an old 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 elf lipstick that is the truest nude color that I have that I purchased in honestly beauty is 2017 2018 probably but it still works and it doesn't smell rancid it actually smells like vanilla and it's super super emollient you might even be able to see that it even looks emollient on my skin so it's staying it's not going anywhere i love it it's one of those things that if i throw it away i'm gonna regret throwing it away i already know let's bring these ones out that are in containers ah beauties i found this also going into the chopsticks container these yeah this one too these are a combination of well these are lip scrubs that i need to use more often oh this is a lip balm and those are lip balms I'm going to quickly smell and make sure these have not gone bad. I got this Jeffree Star one and some Jeffree Star. I, I, I think the only thing I've ever purchased from Jeffree Star was just mystery boxes. So I got this in a mystery box. This one from Wet n Wild and Peanuts is from a year ago. And I think, in fact, I might have even bought it in, like, February or something. So it's not going anywhere. It smells like root beer. I love it. This one smells a little weird. So I'm going to put it to the side. And I'm going to test these after the video to make sure they, like, haven't gone bad or something. So this is going to go to the side. This was from some flower type of collection from Wet n Wild. If you all remember, they had also released, like... A bl in the same collection a black blush this was from like a couple of years ago so this might have gone bad I'm just gonna put it to the side and this I have no idea how old this is but it smells good it smells like a fruit it smells very tropical do I have it says citrus elixir this one doesn't have a taste okay so these are good and then I have one from Colourpop god I can't even open this I feel like this has This one also might have gone bad. I have no idea how old this is. I don't think I bought this that long ago. I think I bought this last year. So I'm going to put it to the side and use it in the next couple of days to see if it's gone bad. And if it has, then I'll do something with it. And this one is from Kaleidos and I'm going to use it. This is, I'm going to use these. So these are staying. This one too. Let me see. This is from the Sephora collection. Yeah, this one definitely smells like it has gone rancid. I'm going to throw this away. Okay, continuing. So these I purchased from Body Shop. And I have two that I have not even opened. I think I got them in like a bundle of three or something. And I have not even used half of this, but it's still good. So I don't see myself going through these. Maybe I'll sell these. Yeah, maybe I'll put these online to sell them because I don't go through these that fast. Okay, so those are going to the side. And this is a lip balm from Fresh. Um, I should use it. I'm going to put these also with everything else that goes on my desk so that every morning I can emulsify my lips. Okay, a few down, 
a lot more to go. Okay, another Labello. That's what I'm saying, babies. Every time I go to Europe, I buy a bunch of these. There is also this from Fresh that I've never used, but it smells good. So this is staying, going together with everything else. I think one issue that I have is that they're in different locations. And a lot of times I can't see that they are there. So I don't reach for things that I can't have around me within reach. Okay, so I'm seeing these from Dose of Colors, right? And I think these are the only ones I have from Dose of Colors. Where's the last one? There needs to be another one. Friends, I found another Labello. Well, this one is Nivea, but okay, whatever. Same thing. Okay, I'll deal with the last one of these when I find it. I don't think it's on this desk. It might have fallen somewhere. Or it might have gone bad and I might have gotten rid of it. This is from Tarte. It's probably from one of those Sephora favorites. I used to buy them all the time. And it doesn't smell bad. I should just put it somewhere so I remember to use it. This is probably from another Sephora favorite. And these are nudes. And I love nudes. And I'm talking about not throwing nudes away. So I should use these. And they're both still good. But this is another one. This is a NYX Slip Ease. Oh, this is cute. And it doesn't smell bad. Okay, so this one is also staying. What color is this? This is Poppin'. I don't even know if these still exist. This is another one. This is a soft matte metallic. Oh my goodness, I love this. And this one smells so much like something edible. I should put these like near my desk that when I'm doing eye looks, I use them. Here is another NYX. These are all nude. Why didn't I keep them around to use them? I don't know. Let me find all of these. NYX samplers. This is another one. Okay, this is a gloss and I should totally use it and it smells amazing. Hashtag this is everything. It, this totally is everything. Oh, I loved this. This is one of those, um, I know I use this all the time, like some year or so ago. I use things way past their expiration probably. Although some people say that the expiration date that is on packaging is actually misleading because brands want you to shop when you don't need to shop. So I don't really know if when they say like you need to buy this in 12 months or six months, if that really is true, but I definitely use them for way past that. Oh, this smells so good. So good, yes, butter gloss. These are all my colors. Why don't I use these? Beauties, I know why I don't use these because they're not near me. I should put them on my desk. So I, look at this. I could have totally used that this Halloween. I should put them around so that I use them so that I know where they are when I want to reach for them. Okay, so these are all staying. Okay, now with these. This is brand new and it does not smell rancid, so it's staying. And so is this one. I should have totally used these Halloween. I bought these, I think, in an advent calendar last year. Why have I not used them? I should put them aside somewhere that I can see them, so I use them. This is exactly why, beauties, I'm on a no-buy for lips because I have a lot of lips. I probably have all the colors that I gravitate towards. I just, I just kind of don't know that they exist. Okay, this looks fine and it smells good. And these are all nudes. I think this was in a nude sampler box. Oh, this one too. And it also smells good. Although you really can't say from the smell, you have to use it on your lips to really be able to tell if things have gone bad. So I trust myself that come time I put them on my lips, I can tell if they have gone bad or not. But for now, they smell good, they swatch well, so they're staying and I like these colors. Ha! I found this last one. So this one is kind of pinky, which is something you all know I like. And this one also smells good, so it's staying. I wear all of these colors. So these are not going anywhere. Okay, let's do some pencils. And I don't even know if these are all lip pencils, if these are all of my lip pencils, if I have some lip pencils somewhere sneaking somewhere that I 
don't know where I do not know but at least we're gonna get through some of these so let's do it um god is this brand even still around and um this one has kind of dried up on me now the thing is i need to um, sharpen these to see if they still work so this is going to go in the trash if i sharpen it and it doesn't work and for that reason it's going next to these two other things that i need to test and see let's try this next one okay this one is fine this one is from Stila. This one is also fine. Such a beautiful color. I don't even know how long ago I bought this. I should really use these. NARS. Oh, this is perfect. This has no issues. What is this? Elf? Okay, this is perfect. And it does not smell bad either, so... This is exactly the reason I'm not buying any more stuff for lips. Are these even lip pencils? These might be eye pencils. It doesn't say. It says Venus Slipper. It doesn't say what it is, but I think I assumed they're for the lips because they are maybe both for lips and eyes. And they're fine, and I think they can do both. And they are swashing pretty nicely, so no issues there. <gasps> Beauties! This is from Bite. But it's fine. And it also smells fine. Yeah, it smells fine. So I'm going to keep it, but um, yeah. When did Bite go out of business? Was that last year? I hope that was last year. Okay, I got this like everything else I own from JS. From a mystery box and it's working well so it's staying joyride from ColourPop. this is fine i also don't know if these are lippies or it just says cream liner so i assumed you can do whatever you want to do with them oh i love this totally staying oh my goodness loving them and i have a lot of other ColourPop lips crayons you're gonna see them in a minute Stay tuned. This one is from Rimmel, and this is also fine. I should really use these. These should go right next to me on my desk. Why are they not on my desk? So that I can use them. They're all perfect. There's no issue here. Another one from Stila. Look at this. I could totally use this Halloween, and I did not. These are all fine. They're all fine. They're all staying. Well, maybe not all, because this one is on the chopping block. Okay, I found some more stuff that I thought might be questionable. So this is from Sephora Collection. This is Nameless. At the bottom it says Made in, made in Italy. This is number 36, and it smells fine. And it's a beautiful color. Why am I not using this? This is such a pretty color. Hashtag Lip Stories. I should use this. And I found these two also from NYX. Before we continue, let's quickly. Perfect. No issues. Beautiful lip gloss. And this one is a lip lingerie. I don't really see myself wear this, but I would be curious to know how I look wearing it. Also, this could be hashtag Halloween. So, and another lippy. Yeah, these are all staying. Okay, let's do some odd and end lipsticks that we have. Okay, some random odd and end ones that don't belong to any collection. Ah, another lip gloss. Actually, before everything, let me quickly do this. This smells good. This is one of those that has a nice tint and it's also plumbing, so it kind of has a spicy feeling on your lips and you know what I kind of like that I don't like the ones that are super spicy but this is just fine so it's not going anywhere that one is staying and it also swashed well you know a lot of times you swatch it and you realize it has completely separated or something and that's not the case in this case also these two are new and I like them I ranked them pretty high this year if you watch my video my top five and bottom five video 
and they're not going anywhere I'm keeping them they're gonna be put to the side but let's do these so I have this which is Ruby Woo. This is some Mac that I probably got as a gift and it's never been used. It was probably part of another like gift bit purchase or something. It doesn't smell bad, so I'm gonna keep it and use it. And it's a color that I do use. I just, you know, these kinds of things, when you have a lot of lipsticks, they, they're easy to miss. So I either I'm gonna just give it to somebody because it hasn't been used or I'm just gonna use it. This is from Lancome. This is Wannabe, which is a beautiful color and it does not smell rancid or anything, so it is not going. Let's see. This is also from Lancome. It Girl. It's one of those sheer sort of toppery ones that you can also use by itself. This one, I don't know how long I've had this one. I'm going to put this to the side and with, with these other things that I'm going to test and I'm going to test and see if it actually has gone bad or not because it might have. This is Drama from Milani. I bought this a couple of years ago and it smells like chocolate and I love it. I believe I used it this past fall and it has not gone bad so I'm going to keep this. Yes, beauties, I have a lipstick from Smashbox and I would not be surprised if I've never used this, but it has been used. Okay, let's see. Mm, I don't know if it's still good. So this is also going into the pile of testers to see if it's still good. Okay, so these are staying. This is Liquid Cat Suit from Wet n Wild. How old is this? Wicked Pink. I have no idea how old this is. It does not really smell that good. I don't know what this even is. Is this supposed to be a gloss? A rouge à lèvres. So it's a lipstick, but clearly I've never used it. It does not really smell bad. I don't know if it's gone bad or not. So this is also going to go into these, this pile. It's difficult to know if they've gone bad. So anything that is questionable, I'm going to put aside and it's probably going to go, to be honest with you. This I got in some purchase. And I've never used it or I've used it, but I've like a long time ago. This is one of those Hi-Fi Shine samplers that I got from Sephora and I should put it in my bag and use it. I don't know why I haven't. Oh, a friend gave me this recently. So obviously it's not going anywhere, but just to show you the color. This is, I think, from Estee Lauder. Yes, it's from Estee Lauder, which is a brand my friend really loves. The name of this color, in case you're wondering, is NV. And that is the color. It's so pretty. It's one of those super, super beautiful sort of mauve dusty rose kind of colors. This one, beautiful color, is Love It, also from Lancome Beauties. I really like Lancome. It's not something you're going to just guess by watching my channel because I mostly do eyeshadows in this channel and I don't really shop eyeshadows from Lancome anymore because Lancome doesn't really do colorful, but I have a lot of stuff from Lancome still that I have had because I still purchase perfumes from Lancome. I still purchase some other stuff from Lancome and a lot of times I get these in their gifts that they're giving away or in the gifts with purchases and whatnot. Yeah, and this one probably came in one of those. These are all good, they smell fine and they perform fine so they're not going anywhere. Oh, this, I don't know if Lancome still has this, for a very long time, this was one of my favorite lipsticks. As you can see, I've almost gone through it and I rarely go through lipsticks because of the sheer amount of lipsticks that I have. But I loved this. This is Old Flame. I don't know if they still have it, but it was one of my favorite and it's not going anywhere. Even if it's rancid, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. I don't think it's rancid because I recently used it, but just saying. Okay, this is B-List. Now, who would want to be B-List? Why would someone want to be B-List? Yeah, this one is also good, and it's a pretty nice corally type of color. I'm going to keep it, and I'm going to put these on my desk so that I use them when I do looks. This is another sampler from MAC, but miraculously, I've used this one. This is Velvet Teddy, and it smells like vanilla. And it's a beautiful color. It's staying. It's totally staying. I should just do more shop my stashes when I'm doing lips. 
I totally should. And this is another liquid lingerie that I found in my stuff as I was finding these other ones. Um, let's do it here. This is a beautiful color and it doesn't smell bad so I think it's still good and it's staying. Okay friends, some stuff from Too Faced and a lot of these are there are different holiday sets and I bought a lot of them. They should have brought these back this year. I don't know why they didn't because this was my favorite thing back in the day when they used to do this and I loved these. I'm just going to quickly swatch some of these. Maybe I wouldn't swatch all of them because I feel like if I swatch everything, we're going to be here for the whole day. So this one, Sugar Cookie, was one of my favorites and I have two of it. I should use it. Beauties, you guys don't judge me, but you do tell me in comments and so on to use these because I totally should. And this one is my type. This is another beautiful sort of very nice nudie color with a hint of coral this one oh my goodness i love this this one was pumpkin spice this came out last year or the year before i can't remember but such a beautiful color same with this one gingerbread man oh my goodness i should bring these out and use them like now in my looks why am i not using these now in my looks these all look pretty fine and then Separate from these holiday ones, as I said, I'm not going to swatch every single one. I also have these two and that I've used plenty in my channel. One of them is Queen Bee. The other one is Bend and Snap. This is a beautiful, beautiful magenta-y type of color that I totally love. These colors look very good on me. I always thought I'm an autumn season, like my colors. And I recently learned that I'm a deep winter, apparently, which means magentas are going to look amazing on me. And then Queen Bee, same thing. It has sort of a cool undertone, which makes it a great shade for me. So all of these are staying. They're not going anywhere. I love them and I should use them more this season because they're totally appropriate for this season. Look what I found. Lip oils from ColourPop from some years ago. And I don't know if they're still good. So we're going to see because these might be going. If they're not good, yeah, I don't think they're good. I don't think this one, yeah, maybe it's going. I almost feel like I should put them on my lips before judging. And right now I'm wearing lipsticks. So I don't really know if they've gone bad. But they do have a smell that I'm like, I don't know if the smell is of something that should go on my lips but they don't smell rancid it's just not like say smell of vanilla you know and i'm kind of questioning what they were supposed to smell like so maybe they haven't gone bad does anybody have these and did they go bad anyway i'm gonna put these to the side and we're gonna see if they have gone bad and they're gonna go if they have okay these three from unearthly I got out of their Halloween mystery bundle last year and I think they're good. I use them this Halloween. I'm probably going to keep them and use them next Halloween and they're not going anywhere because I definitely think I have a need to have these colors in my collection. You know, I don't have a lot of exotic lipstick colors and these could totally be it for me. And now that we did that, let me also quickly mention that I have these two also from Blend Bunny. You all know Moody is one of my favorites. Quickly swatching this beautiful color next to Queen Bee from Too Faced. You know, they're kind of similar and I love using this one also, sort of dusty rose. And this one I think is haunting. The color advertised on her site and the photos for the advertisement for this color was very different from this. I thought this color was like a variation of orange, but this is anything but. Which is part of the reason why I haven't used this, because I was not expecting this color to be this dark or this red and cool tone base. Not that that is an issue because I believe I have a neutral undertone because I can go cool or warm tone. It's just not the color that I was expecting which is part of the reason why I haven't used this color very often. But it's staying because I just bought these this year. Okay, friends, some more odds and ends. So let's 
do it. Um, this matte lip crayon from Ulta. I have no idea how long ago I got this and how I ended up coming to its possession. But it doesn't really smell very good, although the application is pretty nice. Honestly, I don't know, maybe that might be the smell of this product, but it does not smell like something that I like to put on my lips. It smells industrial. And that's probably the reason I have never used it because I don't think I've ever used it. And even if for that reason, it's going and it's going in the trash because I, I don't want to give anything to anybody else that I wouldn't want to use myself. This is another lip suede from NYX and it's a beautiful color. Why have I not used it? It's staying. Ah, look what I found. Uh, this beautiful color also, I believe, from Lancome. No, this is from Clinique. I have no idea how many years ago I came to this its possession, but it smells pretty good and it's a red and I love red. So I'm going to keep it and I'm going to use it. Why have I not used it? It's such a cute lipstick. <sighs> Beauties, look what I found. Bite. And it's never been used. It doesn't really smell the best. Beauties, we all know Bite went out of business not that long ago. And I don't know if this product is good. I'm just trying to be honest with myself. So it's going to go in the pile of things that are going. This one is going in the trash, so I'm just going to put it away. I'm going to put it in the piles that I'm going to like test on my lips and see if they're smelling or taste rancid because for some reason you can't always say from the smell because this one doesn't smell bad and it's brand new but you know I, I think it's pretty old so it might have gone bad and the container is a little sticky I don't know what's happened to it so it's going to the side and it might go in the trash let's do some more Lancome this one is wannabe again and this one is brand new because I already have another wannabe I should give this to somebody yeah, and it smells fine and everything. This is going to go to a friend along with some of the other things that I have that are brand new. Okay, this is Bare Mineral. I don't know if this has gone bad or is still good. It looks fine. And it kind of smells fine, but this is more than a year old. So it's going to the side and it might go. It might go. I'm going to test that and see. These lippies from ColourPop I know can last long. So I'm going to for now put them to the side and we're going to decide them separately. Because I have a lot of ColourPop lippies. Ah, look what I found. Some of these lipsticks from Ofra. These are all staying. These are all staying. Going into my Ofra pile. Okay, let's continue. This sampler from Marc Jacobs. This looks fine to me. I should just use it. Why have I not used it? This is Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Going to the side so that I use it. Oh my God, friends. You all remember this. This is the collab with Vlada. And I'm almost certain, yeah, this thing has totally dried up. So clearly this beauty is going to go in the trash because it's not working it's gone bad that was an old 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 one so i have other tarts that we're gonna talk about separately so i'm gonna put this back color pop going to the side color pops going to this side oh another one from clinique a sampler this one um it has it doesn't smell bad but I can't really tell if it's still good. So I'm going to put this to the side. What about this one? This is NYX. Another NYX. Mm, this one does not smell good. This one is going. This is not doesn't smell like something I want to put on my lips. I have a trash bag here, friends. Okay, another one. Oh la la from Lancome. This one doesn't smell bad, but I just don't see myself wearing this. Like, I don't really wear shimmery lips. What is it, 1980s? I was most likely not even born when some of these things were worn. So I don't know why some of these brands are bringing them back. This is one of my favorites from MAC Meringue. I bought this in the airport in Singapore some years ago, and I have amazing memories with it. 
it still smells good but i even feel like if it didn't i would still want to keep it i should start using that on my channel it's one of those colors that i just totally love and we also have a bunch of clinique ones this one is matte beauty this one looks like it's been through some weather change i don't know if it's gone bad or not it just does not look like something i'd want to put on my lips because it looks like it has melted and then solidified so it's going it's going in the trash some of these wet and wild ones let me quickly put them to the side we're gonna assess them together i think i had another one here it is here it is okay this ColourPop one i just bought last year and i still use it and it's fine so this one is definitely staying because it's not even that old this one is um, all done up this one looks pretty new and it smells fine so this one is staying and and i think this kind of packaging is newer than the ones that are straight so this is probably not that old okay this one is corset this is a beautiful beautiful shade and it doesn't smell bad it's beautiful it has a sheer tint of gold it's so beautiful i want to keep this what about this one so this one is sugared maple oh this is also a pretty color yeah that's also a beautiful color and it does not look shimmery yeah let's hold on to that too this one is social light this one looks so much like the other one uh, that I picked and it, this one is also new I've never used it I should use these uh, and then I have another one what is this one this one is also new why have I not used these I should use these okay another bite sampler it might have been in a Sephora favorite this is chai it does not smell bad I'm not gonna use it because it's brand new I'm gonna show it to my friends if they want some of these stuff they can test and pick look at this how old are you this one is a duochrome color beauties it has a tint of blue I mean arguably it's innovative I just don't see myself wearing this kind of a lip color so it's going in the trash I'm sure I worn it at some point but you know I have aged and I have a lot more lipsticks Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. What is this? This is also corset. So I have two of these and this one looks new. So maybe I should keep the new and ditch the old because the new one is probably newer. Curtain call. This one also looks a little shimmery. Is it shimmery or is that just how I see this? I don't know it kind of looks shimmery I also don't know how old this is so I'm I'm gonna throw it away because it I think it's old I think it's old and this one definitely is shimmery this is metallic work it I'm not gonna use a metallic lip you know I just don't wear metallic lips it's beautiful I just don't wear metallic lips so it's going and I should stop hoarding it's going what is this? This is Candyland from NYX and it smells bad and I'm not going to even swatch this because I think it's gone bad. So it's going. Let's do these two. Oh my goodness, beauties. I loved, loved this one for years. This is Wine Tour and I think I bought it for like $2 some years ago i don't even think nyx does this kind of packaging does nyx have this color because if it does i would not worry about throwing this away it still smells like vanilla but i love this color and you know this and that this one definitely looks a little more shimmery yeah this one is definitely shimmery so i did the right thing throwing that away but this one is a favorite one it looks amazing i'm keeping it i'm keeping this one and then we also have this one this one was not as impressive as the other one but let's swatch it i feel like a few years ago i was very much into dark lips and now i'm okay with pretty much any colors so i'm gonna keep this and see if i'm gonna use it and if i didn't use it 
I'll think about, you know, getting rid of it next declutter. What is this? This is, I think this is from Guerlain. Is it from Guerlain? Maybe. Kiss Kiss, yes. Guerlain, and this is, I've had this for a couple of years at least, but I haven't used it as much. And you know why? Because it smells like perfume. And I never understand why brands do that. Why do you put perfume in what goes on the lips? Like it literally makes my, could make my lips itch. I'm gonna make it a goal to use this because I'm sure I paid a whole lot of money for this. I'm gonna make it a goal to use this in the upcoming year. And if I did not use it enough, between now and next day clutter, it's going. Because I don't like lipstick that smells like perfume. I just don't. Okay, now that I have a super color for hand, let's continue this until I'm done with some of these. This I definitely use. I love this from Essence. I think Essence is repackaged since. I don't even know if they have this color. But beauties, I love this. This is one of those grayish mauves. And it also smells kind of like berries, and I love that. I'm so keeping this. I definitely use these in some of my Halloween looks for the 31 days of Halloween looks on Instagram. And this is another one. This one is a different color, a lot more neutral, a lot more coral, but still definitely a color that I use. So I'm using both of these and I'm keeping them. Let's also do this one because this is the only color stay that I have and it's not that new. I mean, I don't really see myself wear that on my lips, but you know what? Everybody needs to have some funky colors, so I'll keep this for now. And it doesn't smell bad either, so it's not gone bad. Let's continue with these and then we'll be done. This one is a different grape beauties. This was also one of my favorite colors back in the day from Clinique. I don't know if Clinique still has these and it doesn't smell bad, but I know I've had this for quite some years. So it's going to go to the side and I'm going to see if it's still wearable. This one is all heart. It's sort of a shimmery color. Is it shimmery? It doesn't say and I can't tell, but it looks much more emollient and shimmery. Yeah, this is definitely looks like a shimmery color and I don't wear shimmery colors on my lips. Who are we kidding? Again, it's not the 80s, so I'm throwing this away. And this one is extreme pink. Another shimmery color. Why are you doing this, Clinique? Like, are people really wearing these? I'm sure people who are like in their 20s and 30s in the 80s wear these just to remember the 80s. I was a baby in the 80s if I were even born when these things were in. So no, they're going. Okay, beauties, we're back again with some odds and ends. So yes, I do have some Smashbox and I have not used it in quite a while. So let's see if these things are still even working. Uh, I don't think so. I mean, they kind of do work, but I don't know if this is how they're supposed to work because it looks too chunky and literally not emollient at all. And this one is completely dried up. And let's see how about this one. Yeah, definitely dried up. I feel like these were dry as is when I purchased them, so I'm not surprised that, you know, now they're even worse. Yeah, definitely dried up. And then we have, yeah. So if anything, the only one that even can be used is this one, which is, okay, so the name of this one I think is Fair Game. But you know what? I'm not gonna wear these. If I've had them for so long and I've not worn them enough so that they've dried, I'm not gonna wear them. So they're all going. Trash, here they come. Okay, another Milani. This one is red after dark, and unfortunately, it smells like it's already gone bad. And yeah, this also does not really, it's very gooey, and unfortunately, because this is a beautiful color, and I actually think it's newer than the other one that I showed you, Drama, and it was like part of some special collection. I don't know if they have these permanently or if this was just release at a particular point in time, but evidently it's gone bad, so it's going in the trash. Okay, this is from NYX. 
I think this was a collaboration with Jamie Genevieve. I could be wrong, but this is a beautiful color. I kind of forgot that I had it. I don't know how. It smells fine and it performs amazing. So I'm going to put it out and I'm going to use it. Let's do some ABH. Okay, this one performs fine and it does not smell. Here are two more. This is a beautiful color. You know I like these kinds of dusty, grayish, purplish mauves. This one is also fine. Same. These are all matte, so they are supposed to be kind of dry. And they're all fine, so they're staying. Okay, let's do this. This one looks fine. This one I've used, so I know this is fine. And I really like this. I'm not doing anything with it other than just using it. I just need to take this out and use it more often. Why have I not used this? It's a beautiful color and I liked the performance. I've used it in the past and it smells kind of delicious. Why have I not used these? I should bring these two glosses also. I'm not a gloss person, but I'm becoming more of a gloss person. And these seem fine, so I should just bring them out and use them. Yes, these are fine. They're staying. Beauties, we did ABH. Let's quickly try these two also. Now, these are purchased some years ago, and I don't know if they've gone bad or not. They perform fine and they smell okay, but I'm going to put them to the side. And, you know, I'm going to put them together with everything else that I'm testing just to double check that these are still fine you know because if they've gone bad i don't want to put them in my collection and then be like oh wait a minute this has gone rancid so this one from milani i don't know why i purchased this because i don't do shimmery lips i feel like at some point i was like all about possibly doing shimmery lips hey it's still good just in case I wanted to do something ridiculous for, I don't know, Valentine's Day, I'll keep it. But if I don't use it even once between now and next time, it's going. Beauties, I found another one from Lancome, I believe. This I have memories with. It's not going anywhere yet. The name has kind of smudged, but I think it says Rouge in Love, which means red in love. And I think it says the same thing here but there's no other color under it. it's 170 a friend of mine and I this is years ago we had this like secret society that, that we had created and we were like anytime we meet people in this secret society we're gonna wear this red lipstick it was like the red lipstick society so I'm gonna keep this just because I have huge memories with it and it seems like it's still fine like it doesn't smell or anything issue though is that at that point in time Lancome lipsticks smelled like perfume so I don't know it might be masked by perfume but it still performs it's such a beautiful red color though it's like super super orange based red which is not something I see very often okay this metal shock lip paint from Essence I bought to use one Halloween some years ago and I've never used it, but it still performs. Again, who knows? Maybe I end up using it for some funky look. Because it's still performing, it stays. But if I don't use it until next declutter, I'll think about throwing it away. This is Water Kisses Gloss and it's fine. And it smells fine too. So keeping it again because it's also a color that I do use. And a Clinique lipstick and it smells fine and it's pretty hydrant and fine. You know, I'm gonna, because I did that with this one and I think I got them at around the same time, I'm gonna put both of these sort of on the chopping block and see if they're still actually performing on the lips and then decide if I wanna keep them or not. Okay, these two Melt lipsticks I recently got in the Melt Halloween Town collection. I've used this one in one eye look. And this other one I haven't used yet. And I think I would totally use this. This is not a color that I have. And I don't own anything else by Melt. So I think I'm going to keep both of these. These are Pumpkin King and Lock, Shock, and Barrel. And then these two are also from the Scooby-Doo collection of Glam Light. The first Scooby-Doo collection. So hard to read. Zoinks Lipstick. Okay, I think that's the name. I have used both of them 
a few times, but you know, I, I definitely want to use them more. They are relatively new, so they're not going anywhere. This is a lipstick a friend got me very recently, like the, in the past couple of months. And I think I even showed it in one of my videos. This looks so intricate and legit and beautiful that I wanted to use it in that video. And then I was like, I can't use this. This is just too legit. So yeah, I'm definitely not throwing this away. I don't even know if I want to use this yet because it looks kind of like a piece of art. So hell no, it's not going anywhere. Okay, friends, we're back. Let's do this. Okay, so I found this. This is part of that Wet n Wild collection from last year. I think I bought this also at the same time as I bought that lip scrub this is a lip mask and i had it on my desk and i'm keeping this because it's not that old and i use it getting into a little bit of color pop you're gonna see a lot of color pop i'm a huge color pop fanatic and i still use these i know they're still good so but let me swatch a few just because i think swatching is always exciting and you know if any of them is completely out of commission, it's gonna become evident. So they have kind of dried. This is Times Square. I know I have more, more than one of this Times Square too, but I love these. I'm not, I'm not getting rid of them. I'm not getting rid of them. This one is Barracuda. And all of these look so good on me because they're sort of cool toned and I have a coolish I don't really have a cool undertone. I'm neutral undertone. I can wear either of these, but they're so beautiful. I love, love, love these. And I think I'm going to wear them until I can't wear them anymore. I know not everybody agrees with this, but I'm a huge fan of ColourPop Ultra Matte Lips, which is why I'm keeping these. These are the old formulation. But I know, as I said, I don't think everybody agrees with this. And this is Up and Away. The other one was Out and About. These are old. I think I bought these in 2018, 2019, something around then. I think this is Mama. Yep, I think I also have another one of Mama. And this one is Calypso. Again, they work. They work. They're not going anywhere. And this one is Love Bug. I should just put them more nearby and use them. See, they're, they work. They're, they honestly aren't even dry. It's what they normally look like. Because as you all have been telling me, these ColourPop ones are a little drying anyway. Let's do some of these lippies now that we're doing color pop. I bought these I think in 2022. So this was this these were the three that I think were in the um or kid you not collection and these were in some other collection. I don't remember what collection these were in. This is Chakra Wave and I wear these. So I'm not going to throw them away. They're also not that old. This one is Best Intentions. If you all remember what series these were from, write it below. And then this one is Energy Field. And then these are, this is Orcus. I should use this more now that it's sort of winter. I love doing these kinds of lips during winter. This one is Dancing Lady. Yeah, I should put these more nearby so I use them. And this one is Heavy Petal. Yeah, these are so pretty. I should I should just put these right here. And then this one is Parker. This is just a random one that I purchased at some point from Ulta. None of these smell and they all perform reasonably. So they are staying. Beauties, I also have this one, OTW. I don't remember how old this is. I don't even know what OTW stands for. But let's swatch these and see if they're still good. I haven't used these much because they are metallic. But honestly, if at any point in time I feel like doing something metallic, these would be the ones I reach for. And this one definitely swatches well. And it 
doesn't smell. So that one was a flip side. This one is Varsity Blues. Oh, this is so pretty. It doesn't even look that metallic. This one is Fever Pitch. This one reminds me of some of these other ones that I was um, swatching for you all. Well, yesterday for me, but you all are seeing it in one video. And this one is Mic Check. Yeah, I'm gonna keep these. As I said, it's good to have something metallic just in case I have a dire need for wearing metallic lips. This would be a good go-to because I know where these are. And I like to keep them in the boxes because I can find them easier. Otherwise, I have so many like random stuff from ColourPop that they will get lost. Yeah, this is the one that I showed yesterday from Milani. What's the name of this one? Overdramatic. That kind of looks like the one that I just swatched. This one. Okay, let's do a few color pops. There is nothing called a few from ColourPop. As I said, I have a lot. And this also is not even the half of it. This is a mix of gloss and lippies. And we're going to see if anything has to go. We're going to see... And we are going to the side. But before that, these two, just the tints from ColourPop's, I think this was from the Y2K collection or one of those like more electronic type of collections. I should put them more nearby so that I use them. They smell fine, so they are staying, going to the side. <sighs> okay, beauties. Yes, I know I have a lot. Let's go through these collection by collection. So I'm seeing the Biddy collection. Do I have the other ones from Biddy? Yes. Let's see if these three are still good. Okay, it doesn't smell bad. And it swatches okay. I should bring these out and use them because this Biddy collection honestly is what, like five, six years old? Yeah. I think this is a blotted lip. Yeah, it is. I'm going to put it nearby so that I use it. This one was Chuholic. The one I'm holding is Holy Lolly. Why in the universe did I not use these? These are so pretty. Look at that. This should totally be nearby. And this one, it looks like it kind of dried. This is Juicy Drop. Now you know why I'm not buying more of these. This one is also fine. I mean, they haven't really dried. I also like, ironically, I have super chopped lips, but I also like a little bit drying lip stuff. I don't know why. Call it masochistic. I don't know. Okay, this is Melanade. I bought this last year, so not going anywhere. This is relatively recent purchase and it's pretty good. This is an ultra matte. Let's now go through the Disney Designer collection. Why this was called Disney Designer, who knows? If you know, tell the rest of us. And then after that, I'm going to go through the Disney Villains. Um, this is also Villains. This is also Villains. Okay, old stuff. Let's do this. So I don't use gloss very often. But I want to get more into gloss so that I can use these up. I'm going to put these and then I'm going to smell them. Mm, this is pretty. I should just get in, get more into gloss. I really like this one. Of all of them, this is the one that I use because this has a very nice tint. This doesn't really feel like a gloss. This is one of those glosses that actually sort of adds some juice to your lips. And I like that one. But these ones that are completely, I don't know, just super gloss. I should get more into using them. I should get more into using them. I feel like these will be on the chopping block next time if time goes by and I don't even use them. But I, to use them, I should put them nearby, you know? This one is Magic Mirror. It is one year, a few years ago. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. This has like a duochrome -y. Which one was that, Raja? It is pink from some angle and gold from some other angle. Why have I not used these? It is some years ago, I bought the whole Disney designer collection for myself as a birthday gift. This one is also pretty, and I'm sure it's going to give a different effect over something else. 
I want to become more creative with lip stuff. That's one of my goals for this upcoming year. So I'm not going to get rid of the st lip stuff that I already have because it makes no sense to do that. What does make sense is to use them. Use the things that I already have. This one is Puppies from Cruella. I don't even think I've ever used this. I think part of the issue I had was the applicator is a brush. Now, honestly, I don't even know why I had an issue with that. I think it's a psychological problem because I, it's not like I'm a heavy gloss user anyway. Like, I have no opinion of glosses. I should, I should use them, test them, and then develop an opinion. I feel like my issue with gloss is from having used gloss when they came out in early 2000s or my experience with them in early 2000s. I don't even know if they came out then. But when glosses were so gooey, they made your mouth gooey, they would just not look good. And then if your hair would get in them, they would smudge over everything. Yeah, I, I don't think glosses are that anymore. Having used the glosses that Blend Bunny released this year and enjoying them makes me think I sh might develop a new appreciation for glosses. So, so I should just, I should just do that. I remember using this, this is candy apple or something, bad apple, yeah. I do remember using some of these, but I should use more of them. This is hot-headed. This one is also kind of multi-crummy, duochrome This is so beautiful. I should use these. Yes, beauties. I'm keeping all of these and I'm using them. And honestly, they haven't gone bad. They perform pretty fine. That's a goal. I should do more shop my stashes this year. Okay, let's do some more gloss slash blotted, just random stuff from ColourPop. Okay, so I also bought the Strawberry Collection. You all remember that? Going back to old times, Blast from the Past. This is Easy Bake. Honestly, I feel like this might have changed color. And I do remember the reason that I did not use this was because the, the applicator was all janky. You see this? And this might have gone bad because it smells kind of weird. So it's going to go to the side. This one is a Kronos. I think this is an ultra matte. And I still use this. So it's not going anywhere. This is a beautiful one. And this, I don't think, I think this was just a regular. I don't think that one belonged to any collection or anything. This is also just a random gloss. Ah, and this one also smells fine. So this one is also staying. This one is fingers crossed. Let's use this other one. This one also was from that strawberry collection. Interestingly, this one does not smell bad. And it's performing well too. That one you didn't even perform well. I actually feel like this changed color, which could be part of the reason why it's smelling so bad. I don't think this was this color. I think it was like pink. Yeah, definitely smells bad. This is this is going in the trash. Okay, this one isn't even ColourPop. This is Stila. Oh yeah, yeah, I do remember this one. I think this was discontinued, but it's a beautiful color. Rico, I should use this. Okay, let's do some blotted lips. These two were two blotted lips from some collection they had. Some wing or something related to birds one of them is this one is a ringleader the other one is cloud chaser and beauties these two were the first ultra blotted lips i tried and i loved them and i'm not going to throw them away because i still use them they are amazing they look so pretty on my lips this one is kind of dry no Yeah, this one is kind of dried and it also smells kind of funny. So sad. This is Cloud Chaser. Unfortunately, it's going to have to go because I have enough stuff. I don't need stuff that have gone bad or have dried. Okay, this is Scenic Root. This is fine and smells fine. Beautiful color. Why am I not using it? This one is Sleepy Eyes. I have used this on my channel. I've used a lot of these on my channel, and this is fine. Doozy, I've definitely used on my channel. Yep, still good. I liked the ultra blotted old formulation. The new formulation is a little more creamy, and it smells like food, but I don't care about that. This is Starling. As I mentioned, the old formulation of Starling is more 
neutral the new formulation is a bit more coral which is part of the reason why i still want to keep the old formulation also it works this is the new starling let me quickly swatch it next to the old starling to show you these are not exactly the same color And when I said this is goopy, this is what I'm talking about. You see that? Like, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, I have linked the video where I talked about that down below. So this one looks a little bit more coral than that one. I'm hoping the camera captures the difference. You might not even care. It might be negligible for you, but I still wanted to mention. Okay, let's continue with slide. Oh, I have this all over me. This one is also fine. I really like the old blotted version, which is part of the reason if they are okay, I'm not going to throw them away. This one is Tattletail. I think this one was also part of the bird release. This one is kind of drying. It smells uh, kind of questionable. Okay, this is, this is also going to go. It's old. I like it, but I feel like I have other colors similar to it. I don't need it. I have no reason for wanting to wear something that is old and, you know, has gone bad. Okay, this one is Zuma. Yep, this one is totally fine. No issues. Okay, so these one, ones are staying. I also bought these from Juvia's at some sale that they had earlier this year. And because I recently bought them, they're not going anywhere but showing you all the colors. I was just curious to know what these kinds of brown colors are going to look like on me. And I purchased them because of that. And I've used them, I think, at least in one of my videos, maybe more. But I should put them nearby so I use them more often. But they're pretty new, so I'm not going to get rid of them because they're new. This one I think is going to look amazing. Look at this. So pretty. Such a beautiful brick orange, you know? Very pretty. I also like that one. Yeah, and they're kind of sampler size anyway. Let's talk about some ColourPop lipsticks. So as I mentioned, I bought the whole designer, what was it? Princess designer collection and also the villains collection. So I have these and I have used these over the years and they're beautiful. I'm going to quickly swatch and smell all of them. This is Dr. Facilia. I don't think they're available anymore, but hey, who knows? It's ColourPop. They do many collabs with Disney. This one is Hades. I love these two. They brought back some of these designer princess colors. I think they have all of them and they even extended them. So who knows? Maybe they bring back even more for the villains. This one is Cruella. These are all beautiful colors. And as I said, I use them. They have not gone bad. This one broke. Ah, uh, I have a couple of them that broke, unfortunately, but I still use them with a brush, so I don't care about that. It doesn't smell bad, so that's fine. I'm not gonna, maybe I'll press it and put it in a different type of container. This one is Maleficent because I use them with a brush, the ones that have broken. I have another one in the designer collection, in the princess collection that is also broken. This one is the Evil Queen. And there are definitely colors that I use and they're so beautiful. So not going anywhere. And then similarly on the princess side, this is Snow White. This one is Jasmine. Then we have Cinderella. I recently used this in my channel because it's kind of Barbie. I would say Barbie is probably a mix of those two. Then we have Tiana. I should use Tiana more often. This is such a beautiful, deep color. Belle is one of my favorite and I think most useful colors. It's such a beautiful sort of mauve. And then we have Ariel, which broke for me. And then I... Some, some disaster happened with this Ariel, but honestly, the amount that's left is fine. I can still use that, and it's a beautiful color. Yeah, I think this is enough knowing how much stuff I have, and there's still some stuff left in it, and I still use this every once in a while. These are beautiful, and none of them has gone bad, so I'm just keeping them. 
I also have these two from ColourPop. I bought the whole, whole cherry collection. And because I've used them at least once, I didn't want to sell them because I don't really sell lip stuff. I mean, who would want to buy used lip stuff? I should use these more often. They're still good. And, you know, they smell fine and they perform fine. These were the first time they were releasing these glossy lip satins, if you all remember. They released in this cherry collection. And they both smell fine. And they're both colors that I would wear. Now that we're talking about ColourPop, I also have this. And I kind of keep it in the box so that I know where they are so that they don't get mixed with other things. But these are essentially my more nude colors from ColourPop. If you all remember this collection, you know what I'm talking about. But let's quickly swatch these as well. We have Bloom to Bloom, which is relatively nude. After buying the Disney collection, I was like, I don't have any nudes. These are all colorful. This one is Oasis, which is a beautiful sort of pinky. Then we have Virgo Moon, which is another kind of dusty nude, if we can call it that. Then we have a little bit more deep reddish color slow dance. I've used this for outings and so on it's a very nice i still call this kind of deep nude for my lips and then we have a come on clover which is a little bit more magenta like has a hint of magenta yeah and these are all good i bought these much 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 after this collection launched and it's performing pretty well and they still smell pretty fine and they perform fine so they're staying because if i get rid of them in my head, I'm gonna to try to replace them with exactly the same things and they're not going anywhere. They are staying. Okay, beauties, as you can see, some of these older ColourPop ones stain your hand. Another thing that I still have from ColourPop is this. These are Lux Velvet. It's Lux Liquid Lipstick Duos and I bought the whole set some years ago and I still wear them. They haven't gone bad, I still use them, and a lot of these, if not all of them, are still available. So I'm not planning on throwing them away. Um, and as I said, I use them periodically, so if they go bad, I will probably know because I use them. Let's quickly swatch a couple of these. You see, they're still fine. And particularly these two that are from the first, like the lightest color one, I like a lot because they're very nudie. I should just remember to use them more often. So let's just randomly swatch two more. Yeah, and they don't smell bad either. As I said, I use them still, so. This is Lucky Cat and Buttercup. The first two were Can You Even and Casual Dress. These look amazing on my lips and they are also very soft and nice you know they feel comfortable so I, i'm not planning on throwing these away until they actually have gone bad okay a few more odds and ends i got this in a huda beauty mystery bundle and i should really use it more often because these are <laughs> very very in now you know the lipsticks that look very sparkly this literally adds a sheen this is literally a lip balm it doesn't really do a whole lot but it's so nice and beautiful i should just use it uh, the name is Negligé. This I got in a JS mystery box. Honestly, I feel like it's a little bit overkill on the design, but okay. It still smells fine. I should just use these. As I said, plan is next year to use more lip glosses, use up all my lip glosses, not buy any new glosses, and that's why it's still staying because it smells fine. It hasn't gone bad. I bought this from Glamlight. It's Churros. I don't know if they still have this, but I should use it. This is the only Glamlight liquid lipstick that I have, I believe. And I should use it. And it has a mirror on the side. So it's pretty nice. Some random drugstore stuff. This is Hot Coral from Revlon. I have no clue when I bought this. Issue with these older stuff is that they smell so much like perfume. Okay, if I end up not using this between now and next time, it's going because it smells so much like perfume. I don't know if I'll wear that ever. A couple of more things from Jeffree Star, but before that, let's do this one from Stila. 
<gasps> I should totally use this for, I should have used this for Halloween. It's going in my stuff to be used for Halloween. This is another one. This one is Volcanic from L'Oreal. This is a color that I loved when I was in college, which is part of the reason I bought a new one from L'Oreal. This is brand new. I've never used it. The issue with these is that they smell like perfume. Who wants to put perfume on their lips? I don't understand. Okay, let's do these odds and ends from Jeffree Star now. This one is Unicorn Blood. I don't know why I've never used this. I'm sure JS still has these and it's a pretty nice color. This one is Skin Tight. You know, I do all kinds of looks, so I could totally see myself use all of these. This is Gemini, as long as they still work and they haven't gone bad. This is beautiful. I feel like since Jeffree Star started getting all the heat, I haven't used his stuff. This one is the one that came in a mystery bundle and the name is a question mark. But I should use it. It's a beautiful color. And it works. It doesn't smell. Yeah, these are all staying. Okay, friends. Now that we're doing JS, I'm going to quickly do these two also. So I got this also in a mystery box. And these are all colors I would wear. And I just smelled a couple of them and they smell fine. So I, um, I'm going to begin using these. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. And then this one also I got in a Jeffree Star mystery bundle. Let's see, just making sure. Okay, let me, it doesn't smell like anything. I think after this released, he started releasing them with the root beer smell, so these don't smell like anything, which kind of tells me they're probably still good, otherwise they would have smelled kind of rancid or performed kind of weird and they don't look bad either. And these are all colors I would use. I need to figure out how I can arrange these so I don't forget that I have them, but I'm just going to keep them for now. They're good still. They're working. I should just remember to use them. Which then tells me another goal for next year is to use more lip stuff. Or rather, wear more lipstick. Yeah. Okay, beauties, we're back for another day and I truly hope this is the end of it. You all remember this? And yes, I still have it. This is the collab between Colourpop and Safia Nigard. I'm sure I'm saying her name wrong. Let's quickly do some swatches of these. I already smelled these right before I get started on this video and they still smell fine and this is an old collab but i love it and i love the colors and safia evidently has the same color season as i do so i imagine i should keep these because of that also as i said i like these i should just use them more often i keep them in the box just to remember that they exist but somehow I forget that they exist and I end up not using them. So yeah, and they all smell kind of like vanilla, which is great. I love these colors. Apparently both of our color palettes is deep winter, so I should really use these more often. And then another thing, as you all know, because I've mentioned it before, I bought the whole first collection that ColourPop did in collaboration with Sailor Moon, but I don't really use these and I think part of the reason I don't use them is because they are in the box but they still smell fine so I should get them out and use them and as I mentioned I'm gonna get on the gloss train so yeah definitely should use these these glosses still smell fine and I kind of feel like they are just too close the colors like they could have done something a little more adventurous than just two gold glosses and two pink lipsticks you know realistically these two don't look that different but oh well it is what it is they are staying and now that we did a whole lot of color pop let's do a whole lot of stila and these are some blasts from the past that for some unusual reason I have not used as often as I should have but let's see if anything's gotta go as you can see I have not decluttered in a little bit okay let's get to it so we have bossy 
B-A-C-I. This smells fine. These also smell like some sort of cookie. And I love that color. We have patina. I think I have more than one of this. And I should remember to use these. This one also looks fine. This is also bossy. And this one is also fine. I'm not swatching it. I'm just smelling them to make sure they're fine. And this one is also patina. Again, it smells fine. Does Stila even still have these? I think I bought these like two Christmases ago in some bundle. This one is Illuminaire Shimmer. So some of them are shimmery, although this kind of shimmery doesn't really look that shimmery. The next one is Caramello. These should really be on my desk so that I see them. The next one is Sheer Splendor, or is it Splendor? O-R-E. Yeah, this one is a little bit sheer. Then we have Fia. This one I also remember was one of my favorites. Super pretty. And Sheer Morello. Yeah, these sheer ones are tiny bit sheer. They're not super sheer. You see that? They're kind of like ColourPop's blotted lips. This one is Lumi Shimmer or Lume Shimmer. Then we have Arya. Yeah, these all smell like cookies. And Fiore. Oh, this one is so Barbie. Fiore is so Barbie. Look at that. And we have Vino. I should totally bring these out. Like, this is a great time of the year for this kind of a color. And Besso, these two Bessos. Wasn't Besso... AOC's favorite lip color. I think it was. You know what? I should totally pull off some AOC vibes. I don't know why I'm swashing Besso twice. These are both Besso. And then we have Besso Shimmer. So this would be ideal for this time of the year, although I don't really wear shimmery. I feel like if I were to sh wear shimmery red lipstick, I would only wear it this time of the year. And then the final one is Miele shimmer although this one does not really look like it's shimmery let's put it here yeah these shimmers are not as shimmery as some of the other shimmery ones that i swatch from other brands but all of these seem to still be working and good so they're all staying okay we have a few more from smashbox that i got in some bundle and i'm gonna just assume they have probably dried up let's see Yep, definitely dry. So this one is going. Let's first do the shimmer ones because they're more prone to drying. Yep, definitely dry. And beauties, to be honest with you, these Smashbox ones from what I remember were very thick on the lips, which was part of the reason I was just not drawn to them when I purchased them. Now let's see about the non-shimmery ones. Uh, this one kind of dried up. And realistically, with all the other things I have, I'm not going to use an almost dried up lipstick. So that's also going. Mm, same with this one. And... Yeah, this one too. So all of these are going and I don't think I have anything left from Smashbox after this. Let's try this one. I don't know if Flower Beauty has these anymore. I bought this some years ago. So one side is a lipstick and I should totally use this. It smells fine and it swatches fine. And the other side is some sort of a lipstick, I suppose. But I have not really used this side. I feel like I haven't gravitated towards this because of the color. But honestly, I should start getting a little bit more adventurous just because I have these colors. So I'm going to keep this because it smells fine and the app apply fine still. And I'm going to plan on using it more in the next few months until the next declutter. 
And let's get to my Tartiste ones. I bought all of these some time ago, if you all remember. You could buy bundles usually around this time of the year. So these are not new, but I have been using them a lot. I like Tartiste. The one that I just swatched is Vibin. For, and, and this one is also Vibin. Yeah, they all smell okay. And they apply fine. They kind of dry up on my lips and I feel like I like things drying up my lips. I don't know why. Again, call me masochistic. This one is Pillow Talk. I suppose somebody did Pillow Talk before Charlotte Tilbury literally inundated the market with it. This one is Salty. Let's see. I should really use these more. You know, the reason I'm swatching these separate from just showing you all the color is also to just mentally remember what I have so that I am kind of reminded to use them. This one is Festival. This one is one of my favorites. And most of these are kind of nude, which is stuff that I kind of think are missing from my collection right now. So I don't know why I'm not reaching for these. This is Rosé. I should just put them closer to me. This one is Low Key. I mean, of course you would expect something nudie from Tarte. Does Tarte even do anything other than nude anymore? This one is Delish. Yeah, these have all stayed pretty good in terms of they still smell fine. They're applying fine. This one is Obsessed. Oh, beautiful color. And I think all of these are still available, so I should definitely use them. This one is Bling. I should order these from lightest to darkest and definitely use them in my videos. This one is Front Row. Beautiful, beautiful color. Yeah, most of these are sort of a variation of nude depending on your skill, skin color. So this one is XOXO. Beautiful red, ideal for this time of the year. And here's another one, Extra. Also super pretty. So XOXO has more of a warm undertone. Extra has more of a cool undertone. And the final one is Fly. I have used this one periodically in my videos or Instagram reels because I love this color. Yeah, they're all good. They all smell fine. So they're all staying. I should just remember to use them. And beauties, I think we're done with everything except ColourPop. I still have some ColourPop left, so let's bring them on. You're going to be in it for a surprise. We're going to have some older stuff. If you're enjoying this video and you've watched this far, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you enjoy declutters and these kinds of videos, you can also subscribe to my channel. I'll probably try to do a declutter more often. <laughs> okay, let's show you some blasts from the past. You all remember this? ColourPop and Becky G. I mean, I love Becky G. What can I say? And I do believe I am going to keep all of these if they are still good. So first we have Miha. These have been very much used and I've used them behind the scenes in some of my videos. I might have not told you I'm using them, but I have. They don't smell like anything that I would say is concerning and I'm actually kind of surprised because I think these came out in 2019 or something like that. So I've had them for quite a while, but I still use them. I mean, you can see they've been pretty smudged and this one is so beautiful. This one is Flor. And then we have a Secreto. Also a beautiful, beautiful color. And then we have Besame. Which is a beautiful red. Yeah, all of these still smell fine. And this last one I love because it's one of those dark ones. This one is Chola. You see what a nice dark color it is. I should use more of these. They're staying because they still work. 
So I'm keeping them and I love this design. Wasn't this one of the fun stuff that ColourPop did some years ago? I don't know why ColourPop is not doing more of these kinds of stuff and they've just done so many super mundane, super boring stuff in the past year, two years. Okay, just a few more and let's go. We have all ColourPop these and yes more blasts from the past let me swatch a couple of these for you if you all remember ColourPop released this in Ulta two years ago around Black Friday this is Lax and it was $25 this whole container with all of these was just $25 and of course I had to buy it because I was just like I love ColourPop lips as you saw and you know it's such a bargain this one was flurries you have seen me use a lot of these on my channel because a lot of these colors are still available and frankly even if they weren't i would still use them because i have them and i need to use them up and i'm on a no buy for lips this is fuego i'm just randomly swatching some of these just to mentally remind myself what colors i have that i should use this one is and chill i've used it in some of my halloween videos some of these are dupes for some of the ColourPop ultra mattes that i already swatched for you like mama we have here that i already swatched times square that i already swatched love bug they already swatched i have dupes of them because they came in this but even in spite of those dupes 25 dollars for this whole container and also it was Ulta. I probably also used some Ulta coupon on top of that. It was such a bargain. I should just use these before they go bad. And I and I use this one. Actually, this is right next to my desk and I use it very frequently as I already showed. So I know they haven't gone bad. I should just use it more often. And this actually makes me think I should just continue my no buy for lips. I have no business buying more lip stuff. And then another thing that I bought last year, and I bought this early 2022, was this. So this is called Bestie and Show, and it's a lipstick vault that has these colors in it. I'm going to take it out. These are the colors, and I'm going to just randomly swatch some of them for you. And this is another one that's also next to my desk that I use periodically. But again, I should do a little bit more, probably shop my stash style stuff where i consciously use things that i haven't used in a while instead of just randomly reaching for something because i feel like part of the reason some of the other stuff that i've shown aren't used and like something like this is used a lot is because those other things are just hidden somewhere whereas this is right ne next to my desk so i'm swatching cookie and I also swatched Tropicana was the first one. And then I also swatched Oh Snap was this. I think Oh Snap was it was Oh Snap the second one. No, I don't think this is oh, I don't think I swatched this, so let me swatch it. This is Oh Snap, which is a very nice nude. I really like the lippies. I had a few of them that you already saw, and that made me go and buy this when they released this and then it was on some sale. I don't remember how much I bought this for, but it was very, very cheap for the number of stuff that's in it. Maybe I swatched this one. No, I did not swatch this one. I swatched one of them. Did I swatch Cami? Maybe I swatched Cami. Let me see. No. But let me swatch Cami now. These are all beautiful colors. Did I swatch this one? I'm now getting so confused. I swatched one of them. Oh well, I swatched one of them. Maybe it was this one. Yeah, I think it was this one. Yep, this is Love Life. Yeah, so as I said, I really liked the other lippies that I had and I wanted to buy more. They're a little dry, but you all know I like dry lips. As masochistic as it sounds. And then these are my pencils. This one I also bought when I bought the one that I just showed you, Bestie and Show, to go together. So let's quickly swatch these. I'm pretty sure these are fine. I'm going to swatch some of them for you. This is Elari, And then I'm just going to randomly swatch some. This one is Bossy. Beautiful red. And then we have... 
I heart this. One thing I don't know that I need to figure out is, can we sharpen these? I assumed we can sharpen them with a sharpener. If any of you know, can you write it in the comments below? Because I think this is made of plastic and I was just kind of like, how do you sharpen this? I feel so ridiculous even asking that. I should know that, right? Beautiful, beautiful color. I should definitely get more into lining my lips. The ones of you who have been watching me regularly, you know I don't line my lips and I should because I have enough liners. Ah. Yeah, the last one that I that I swashed was this is BFF. And then there this one I bought when I purchased this one and I think I bought both of them from Ulta and I think they were both on a sale on top of the fact that I probably got some Ulta discount. So let's swatch some of these. This is BFF 4. So one issue I've had with this is that I still haven't figured out if you can sh sharpen these. I'm sure if I Google it, I will know. I, I just haven't had a chance to Google it. But every time I come to use some of them that are kind of done, I'm like, oh, I need to sharpen this. But can I sharpen this? So then I kind of just give up. Like this one, which is BFF 2. You know, I use some of these nudier ones for nude lips this one is bff and as you saw i have another one of it this one is a little bit more nude than you're the bestie which is part of the reason why i bought you're the bestie because i was like i do wear a lot of these dark colors and i should be able to wear some lip liners with them and this one is oh snap and i think i already swatched oh snap there so that's that beauties i think that is everything that i have for lips if you watched this far don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you enjoy these kinds of videos again don't forget to subscribe let me quickly now show you what is going okay beauties these are the 37 lip stuff that are going and plan for 2024 is continuing to use the stuff that I have and not adding any lip stuff to my collection. So I'm gonna continue and extend my no buy for lifts, which I've been on for quite some time so that I can go through and potentially declutter more of the lip stuff that I have. But in case you were wondering, this 37, some of these I was questioning, but I either decided, you know what, I'm not gonna use this, it's gonna go, or that I realized it's actually not even good anymore. Okay, beauties, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That helps me a lot. It's gonna help this video be seen by some other people who might be interested in this kind of content. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you like this kind of content but are not subscribed yet. I love you all. Have an amazing day and until next time. Bye. Ah, look what I found. Actually, we have 38 things going, not 37.